I don't know what you saw in me, but I was curious. Maybe it was just the bacon. All of our individual and combined moments shared with Scott and Megan have led them here to share this day with us. We have helped them write their love story and I'm so happy to have been a part of the journey. Although I have to admit it was one of the more interesting conversations I've had with Megan. I remember the first phone call I received about Scott. There was a lot of crying and as we all might have heard, this love story started with Bacon. The other night we were talking a little bit about love and what love is and I think the best definition that I've ever heard of love was penned over 2,000 years ago by the Apostle Paul. And I just want to read that now. It says, love is patient, love is kind, does not envy, does not boast, is not proud, does not dishonor others, is not self-seeking, is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. And love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. As expected, just as I thought we would be right, I'd be writing my vows tonight. The night before, we approached this task together as a team. For both of us, uh, for you, you write way too much, and for me, I would write way too little. I'm glad we decided to work on our vows together because as you know, when it comes to writing, I need to be reined in a little bit. I'm trying to put words, emotions, and thoughts on paper. No one could ever guess the trials and tribulations that we've been through as individuals and as a couple. 10,000 words wouldn't be enough for me to express the love that I have for you and how lucky I feel today to be standing in front of you officially as your soon to be wife. Most of the people in this room know the story of how we met and that neither one of us were in an ideal place to start a relationship, but we chose to take a chance. I have to talk about this. <laughs> when Megan still lived in our basement, she had moved to Melissa's yet. I, I went down to the bed, bedroom in the basement and she's sitting there and she's crying. I don't want to like another guy. <laughs> Those weren't her exact words, but something right along that line. I said, you don't have to. Just see where it goes and it doesn't have to go anywhere. Well, obviously it went somewhere. I didn't know what would happen for us, but what I did know is that I felt safe in your presence and over the years you have become my absolute favorite person. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> Until now. When Jared told me <clears throat> to stay away from you that weekend at the ranch, I thought I would. You were there for a purpose. I was trying to let you have your space. I was there with my girls, even though I thought they might be annoying you. You embraced the time with them, despite your vulnerable state, and showed them love and compassion. And life is like the roller coaster. You go up, you go down, you go around in circles. You never know what you're going to do, but it makes it so much fun. And those words, again, not verbatim, but close to, those have stuck in my head ever since I've seen that movie. And I think that pretty well explains it. <laughs> Life. And a lot of ours, a lot of ours, but it's definitely there, but I think it, it just speaks to the fact that there's so much love and entertainment and never a dull moment in that house. So, thank you for blessing us for this day. <laughs> right. 
My mom used to tell Megan that she was going to do great things. I don't know if Megan realized that the great things were going to include help raise two beautiful girls named Austin and Robin, and adding two more wonderful Megan and Scott combinations, Nico and Earl. I don't know if Megan also knew it was going to be a great love story of two people living in their own perfectly beautiful chaos. When the weekend was over and we parted our ways, I never expected to speak to you again. But then I received a lengthy, very well written text message from you. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was actually driving under the overpass in Chesterman. You wrote about your feelings and your fears and opened your heart to me. I was blown away. How could anybody who has gone through so much uh, see me with, with such trust to give me the opportunity to be in your world? I was honored honored, yet I was very confused. I thought I would stay away, but I, I know it would be okay. But Scott, he's uh, definitely one of a kind. Um, I heard a lot of the words that I wanted to say today echoed throughout the day. Who knew, who knew such a sim simple gesture could open so many wonderful doors? Thank you for loving me. For, thank you for the love you showed me and my girls the way that you've stepped up for them, going above and beyond, it's mean the world to me. I feel the same way about the rest of our zoo and the people that are in it. Anytime someone asks where is your favorite place in the world, or where would you go if you could go anywhere in the world, my answer is always home. Our home is truly my favorite place to be. Whether it's in complete chaos, or those rare moments when everything is still, including the kids, and we look at each other across the room. Those are always my favorite moments. You have taken them under your wing and helped raise them. Through all the in infamous lectures and heartfelt talks, you have guided them to become the beautiful young ladies standing with us today. For the little ones, they are little shits. But I wouldn't change a thing. His passion for his family and hunting and fishing makes him who he is. Strong, smart, caring, and brave. The first thing that is in my brain is a mother is only as happy as her happiest, or only as unhappy as her unhappiest child. And I feel like all my children are just doing really well, so I'm, I'm happy. When I'm with you, I'm the best version of myself because I'm allowed to be unapologetically me. One of the things I admire most about you is your ability, ability to be unapologetically you. Those qualities that make you weird and unusual are some of the ones that I love most about you. And you never have any problem showing up as yourself, no matter who's in the room. I admire that so much and appreciate it more than you will ever know. Also, I know that if we ever experience an apocalypse or anything that will require extreme survival skills, I am truly grateful I will have you by my side for that. And I've always been open to be trying, or, and I'm truly grateful that I've always been open to trying all the things you've got, including Rokka. As we all are aware, Megan treasures moments. She sees life through a different lens. Moments not only write our story, but are deeply engraved in our being. I have been blessed to share many of those moments with Megan. And Scott, I know you will truly appreciate the big and small memories you make with me. Thank you for accepting me for all of my parts, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You have always accepted me, even on the days I have trouble accepting myself. You are one of the most selfless people I've ever met. The way you care for me and our family makes me feel like one of the most blessed people in the world. And I don't mean that in a cliche sort of way. I Everything I have accomplished since meeting you would have never happened had it not been for you and our parents. Um, we went to the Grizzly House in Banff, a bunch of us, to part of a stag, try some exotic meats and stuff like that. But I think that was just a Sunday dinner at the Harper House residence there. So 
Um, over the years, we've had many family dinners, and they just keep getting better. And in case you didn't know, Scott, you've done an amazing job as a dad to your kids, partner to Megan, and in the throes of life's busyness, runny noses, lack of sleep, meltdowns, these are truly the best of times for us. And today adds one more good memory. For, for, from late nights and early mornings, driving here and there and everywhere, uh, experiences and personalities from all different age ranges. The four of them have become our world. You are the glue that holds this family together. Without you, we would be um, we would be as organized as a wet fart. We welcome Scott, Austin and Roddy in our home and family a few years ago now, and they're more than welcome now every day. We love them all. You're an amazing mother, a loving partner, and my best friend. I love you for who you are and what you stand for. The way you protect everyone, with or without a voice, for backing me for all my quirky traits and putting up with my late nights or early morning obsessions of being outside. Whether it's hunting, fishing, or some journey, you will support me. No matter how many times I've already told you, I want you to know you are beautiful, you are kind, and even though I suck at writing and putting words on paper, I will spend every day making you feel my love. Your love has brought me back to who I am. Your love brought me home. This last five and a half years or more has been insane. And through it all, you've encouraged me and reassured me every time I was having doubts. And Lord knows that's happened a lot. <laughs> but I never doubted you and me. I've always been one of those people who has one of those one-a-day calendars on my desk. On February 20th, 2016, the day my world completely fell apart, I thought my life was over. When I looked at my calendar and what it said that day, it read, your journey of joy begins today. At the time I was angry and the message seemed completely off, but now I know it was right. I never could have imagined what the universe had in store for me. But I held on to hope, even when it was the hardest thing to do. Scott Harper, although it took a lot of dark days for our paths to cross, I know it was always meant to be me and you. You were never meant to be my second choice or my plan B. You were always meant to be my husband, and it was always meant to be me, you, and those beautiful four kids that stand with us today. Megan, I'm so happy for you that you met Scott when you were supposed to meet him. Although the journey wasn't always sunshine and roses, it was definitely a ride you didn't want to miss. Happiness, like the life you were going to share together, is a true treasure. I hope you guys laugh often, cry when needed, and hold each other close when it matters most. This union today will not change anything about our relationship or our love for one another. Today I promise to continue to love you just as I have always loved you uh, and to always be willing to grow with you and evolve as a couple. I promise to not only love you through good times and bad times, but to always show up just as I am as I know that you will always accept, accept me and meet me where I'm at. In turn, I promise to always meet you with grace, compassion, and patience. I promise to always be truthful, to communicate how I feel, and always ask you for clarification when I do not understand. I promise to never conceal my joy or my pain, always let you in no matter what. I promise to celebrate everything and to embrace every moment of joy with you, as we both know times can, be, can quickly change. And when they do, I promise to hold space for you in those times of sorrow. I promise to remember to approach things as a team and remember that it is not us against each other, but it is us against the world. I promise to always speak kindly to you. And even on days when emotions are high, I promise to be mindful of my words. I promise to always have your back and to never speak ill of you when you're not there. Love, trust, and loyalty are the foundations of our relationship, and I promise to continue to remember who we are and what we stand for. I promise to be your best friend, safe haven, and to make you laugh as much as possible. I promise to remember that although we may be busy and exhausted, I will always make time for you. I promise to always be faithful and to remember that whatever I need will always be there in our relationship. 
I promise to always support your hopes and dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem at the time. I promise to remember that together we can accomplish anything. I promise to still hold your hand and snuggle with you when we are old and gray, and to always be grateful for every single day I have with you. No matter what, I promise I will always stand in any pile of shit with you. And that I will love you like I'm going to lose you until my last breath. Until my last breath.